let's go ahead and load up our save. Now, last time, which one of these is our most recent save? I played a little bit last night, uh, trying to figure out the station setup to automate the selling of stuff. I did a little bit of just messing around. Nothing too crazy went on last night. The only thing that came out of the shenanigans, of course, I switch over to the screen and you guys can't see the loading screens. It's so weird. You guys can't see loading screens. Uh, the only crazy thing that came out of last night uh, that I can remember was I picked up, I did, I think I figured out the station. I think it's now automated and I'll show you what I did uh, once the game loads. What else happened last night? Uh, oh, I know. I found, and I wonder if it's still alive. Uh, I found a C-9976 transport. And this, if it survives, because it's got a long way to go, is one of those droid, like, droid transports, one of those big freighters. Yeah. So we found one of those. I'm going to sell it, though, because it's so far away. And it is like their, their light model, just straight transport. It does have a lot of five... 25 megajoule shields. Um, so you can hold seven of them, strangely. But, eh, I'm going to sell it. Roger, roger. Yeah, it's a roger, roger transport. Exactly. Reed202, thank you for the 14 months of support. Appreciate it, Reed. Hmm. The gonk droids are real today. Ah, and good coffee. Where, where the heck are we? What are we doing? Where are we? What's going on? We're in... Eileen, thank you for the 13 months. Tier 1, appreciate it. Howdy, Captain. Thanks for all the great videos. Is there a Babylon 5 mod for this game? There used to be a Babylon 5 ship pack. Not like a full conversion or anything. I don't know if it's still around. Um, I know it had like, you know, Centauri warships and, and human warships and stuff like that. There used to be tons, and I think they're still around. Uh, but you're going to have to get into like get into the weeds a bit with figuring out how to balance them out and get them into the game. Uh, and putting them into the Lit Cube version is even harder because none of those models are going to work with the Lit Cube using unless you uh, go in and make sure all the, like, the weapons work and all that. So, because he's, re he's rebalanced power usage of weapons in the original. Uh, okay, so let's take a look at our space station back where we where we set up. So we, we set up shop at Lightwater. I have updated, by the way, to the latest version, which you're seeing right now. Um, oh, by the way, uh, I don't know when it happened. I think it happened during the stream yesterday, but our scout is dead. I noticed he wasn't on the list anymore, so our scout is definitely dead. If we want to pick up another one, we, we probably should. Because we haven't explored... Look at all these sectors. Oh, that is as far as I can zoom out. All of these sectors, we haven't even come close to exploring everything. Have you tried Doc Agent with the YT? Ah, yes, I did, I2 Wolf. So, um... I didn't try it with a YT, but I tried it with another ship that I picked up. Let's go over to the station. I'll just jump over there. Uh, we're not doing anything where we are right now. We'll head over to Lightwater and Junk return back to Babylon Station. 10%. And I will show you, 20. I actually picked up 30. in the system with our 40. station, uh, some pirates 50%. came into the sector. So it's not nearly 60. as clear as we thought it were. It was. 70. Even worse last 80. night, um, a Carillion Corvette pirate one Junk. popped in. And with the help of a local, um, what was that? A local rebel ship, we managed to take it down. Uh, with the ion cannons that I have on this, this headhunter, this headhunter, this, um, this hammerhead, I managed to take it down. Now, during that fight, though, let me see if I have it. It is in sector suite. During that fight, this transport bailed and I managed to salvage it. And this is our new dock manager. This is our middle management for the space station. So exactly what we were kind of wondering what was going on, it looks like it has to be a TS class ship. Because if I'm not mistaken, uh, this ship that we're staring at right now, info on target, uh, is considered a TS. Yep, so transport ship. Can't be a military transport, can't be a TM. And the VX is considered a military transport. So that's what it was. Yeah, Shaq, there is a really useful installation video that Star Wars mod author made. You should put in the video description. Uh, it's not a bad idea. It's not a bad idea. So, we've got our fancy transport out there. Uh, it's moving? Oh, what are we doing right now? It's selling silicon wafers. Where are you trying to sell them? And how much are you moving? Are you only moving one item at a time? Tell me that's not the case. 
Because there's no way your cargo bay is full of silicon wafers. Yeah, it's got a 15,000 capacity cargo bay, and it's moving nothing but silicon wafers. <laughs> it's not a big deal as long as it's not leaving the sector. I just don't know. Let's see. Where is he right now? Okay, he's heading over to the Plutarch Marnie station. So, the what I did was I ended up going into the um, station parameters and I turned down the sell by price until the number of jumps went down to none for all of the objects and set maximum jumps to zero, meaning it shouldn't go anywhere outside of this sector. And if that's how it works, if I'm on the right page here, then it should stay in this sector and it should sell only in this sector and it'll sell for whatever they're willing to buy. So it should constantly sell to this space station as it picks up and, and moves things. It's a little weird that it's doing one thing at a time. Um, I could probably set that. Actually, let's try it. Let, we have a lat hauler. It doesn't have any shields. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and give that thing a uh, trade order. No, general order maybe? No. Surplus control? No, I need to assign it as a freighter. I don't think it has the software for it. So if we get another freighter that actually has the software, uh, I will send it here, and it can also be attached to the space station to move the ore uh, to wherever we need it to go. So, all right, let's uh, let's do a quick scan of all of our uh, satellites in the area and see if there are any interesting abandoned ships. We could use another freighter. Uh, a lot of M's here. There's a dune lizard out in Colony Pride we could go pick up. That could be some quick cash. There's a, ooh, there we go. YT 2400 and a few Xenon to kick the crap out of. I love it. Light of heart. Set a course for light of heart. I need to check my fuel too. We've been kind of burning Jump fuel, jumping all over the place. I don't want to end up with no fuel and not being able to get away. 20, so we have 1494. 30, so we should be all right. 40, 50%, Check, you need to find a loser hulk 60, filled with mining ships. Uh, Loser Hulks in this are either not in or in the latest version he's made it so they are considered space stations because they're too large for X to handle properly in the autopilot. So that's one of the few ships he's had to take out that and like SSDs have been had removed. Um, yeah. Entering system, light of heart. Light of heart. We are going to come a boot. Let's get into a firefight. It's gonna be a firefight. Ooh, what are you? Rebel A Wing for sale. Transmitting information now. And 82% hull damage, 510,000 credits. That's around what they normally cost. That's actually a little bit more than they normally cost. We bought an A Wing before. Unless it's actually equipped. Where's that YT? Right in the middle of all those pirates. All cool. Hostiles. 8.8 .8 out there. And we're moving in. Green Dragon TV, thank you for the uh, the resub. Help! I've been lost in here for four months and I can't find my way out. <laughs> um. Oh no. Lost in the internet chats. There's no coming back from that. Oh, we're in firing range. Thank you, Joanne. Glad you're paying attention. Yeah, they're way out there. They're Xenon! That is a lot of cluster missiles. On behalf of our president and senator, Oop. the Argon Federation, thank you uh, for your help. Do we this not have rebel? Board, you get 1,000 credits. Okay, we do. We do have bounty hunting. I was like, we have to have a police license by now. I swear that's the one group we have it with. I still need to get one for the Republic. So we get paid for these kills. Did they ever did they fix that next four where you get credit even if you don't get last shot? I lose satellites all the time, guys. Don't worry about it. I, I keep putting them in really hostile areas. The satellites are just gonna go down. I may have lost one. No, this place is fine. Alright, well shields are holding, we're okay. Bum, bum. One of the things that we do need to do today, I'm gonna do that as soon as the battle is over, actually, and we set a course for that. Oh, good grief, did you just die already? There we go, got him. Uh, is make it so we can fire chaff without axing, constantly having the game ask me if I want to eject, because that shortcut that I'm using, so what I was using was shift and a mouse button, an extra mouse button, 
Well, shift and E, which E is your rotate, right? It's your it's your roll. Shift and E is eject. Shift and Q is quit. And I kept hitting shift, trying to roll and fire chaff at the same time. You can imagine how that works out. Poorly. It works out poorly, plot twist. Uh, Dune Lizard YT. I needed a freighter, and there was a freighter. Is that a 2400 or a 2000? Ooh, 2400 too. Dash Rindar ship. A beautiful smart furian. Thank you so much for the thousand bit source. Good evening. Do you cap? I finished, I finished one my first game of Rebels Awakening of the Rebellion and felt so bored. I started a new one on a harder difficulty. I may be addicted. Also, I miss half a stream and all of a sudden there's a station? How does those work? You miss like two streams if you missed out on the station. Yeah. Yeah, we got our own like base of operations, which I'm going to build an HQ on. Yeah, that's what I'm gonna do. It's like the easiest button for me to push and since torpedoes and missiles will kill us straight up, and we have, we've been there, we've been through that. Um, let's go fire chaff, add control, boom, apply, and player console, we can do like nine. All right, there we go. And save the controls. We're here. Ooh, did they rework the model on the YT? I know I was complaining about it. Oh God, I'll stop. What are you doing? Why? Why autopilot? I told you to go to it, not go like into it. So now we repair the hull. Now we could do this in the shipyard. We could send it off and have it repaired that way, but we have to pay for that. If we repair it ourselves, we actually can make a lot of money off of salvage ships. Uh, this was a freighter probably passing through and those pirates got a hold of it. Um, there's a chance any ship in Lake Cubes, the pilot can hit the escape button and GTFO. Might as well put the VODs on YouTube. You say that, Super Jake. You say that, but it actively harms the YouTube channel's ability to show up <laughs> on people's... Um, it's Because it doesn't have the engagement. This could be good. This could be our new freighter for the space station to help move over the crystals and stuff. Uh, or, I wonder if this can equip the repair laser. It'd be neat to have like a YT repair ship. Like a repair barge running around. What do we got? Uh, decent shields are installed. You can have eight 25s. You can have four lasers in the front. Oh, hell. Two and two. And it's already got ion disruptors and particle accelerators. Nice. Uh, any, any kind of trading stuff? No, no software. So we're gonna have to give it some software if we wanted to do basically anything other than escort. This could be an escort ship. Yeah, this could easily be an escort ship. Look at all those. And it's got all its weapons. None of them were destroyed. It does have some trade command software, but could use a little bit more. Are we in an area with a dr with equipment dock? I think we are. Yeah, we are. All right. Listen up, YT. I'm keeping you. Command accepted. I want you to go ahead and run over to the local shipyard. Equipment dock. Uh, and get the trade command accepted. software for me. Oh, what was your max speed, by the way? 130. It's faster than the VCX by what, five? Um, where, where's our, where do we park? There it is. Did you show the music you use? The music is great. Uh, funny enough, I was going to message Wasted about that because I know he does it. I think he uses Spotify though and I don't. I actually have all the music like locally stored. So I don't exactly know how I would do that, but it's something I wouldn't mind doing. Like have a little, I've got a whole new UI coming for streams. If such is the Emperor's um, From a really talented animator who did our Stellaris intros for like the Rebel campaign that we did a long time ago um, with the holographic table. Anything cool here? Poltergeist missiles, ray, ray cans, particle cannons. Plasma gun. Plasma gun. Five plasma guns? Auto Go! Pilot. I want to know what a plasma gun is. Oh, I also wanted to know if that uh, YT can actually hold the repair cannon. What can you equip for weapons? Ion disruptors. Oh, all the ones that you have. Okay, and that's it. Cool. Good to know. Uh, are we set toward the uh, guns? Plasma gun. Auto, auto, autopilot activated. Autopilot online. Adjust course. How cool would it be to have a game like this, right? Where the universe gives zero craps about you. And it's, it's so it's fairly hardcore. 
but co-op with like an interior of a ship. I would love that. That would be amazing. The hollow table interest. So yeah, that guy's making, um, uh, I'm actually using what we're generating here on Twitch to pay for it. Uh, a bunch of animations and stuff for me. So I'm really excited to get my hands on like the new demos of that. Uh, and part of it, I need to I need to send an email today and be like, hey, can you put a little overlay in for like a section where it'll say what song's playing? Because I get that question all the time. It'd be really nice. Kempers, thank you for the 1,200 bits. Conk, conk. Oh, Captain, what did I miss? Uh, what did you miss? We found a YT. Look, sir, everything's in order, sir. Uh, we found a YT 2400, so Dash Rendar's ship. We've got a lot of hostiles dead ahead. I kind of want to bring the VCX over here to help me. Oh no, the VCX has been stripped. It doesn't have... It should still be combat capable, right? It just doesn't have the trading software anymore. It still has weapons. We're gonna do this for science. Command Escort, protect accepted. me. I wanna see if he jumps here. I wanna see if he follows me around with jump drive. We're gonna find out. I just ordered the VCX to get over here and to protect me. All right, we're in firing range of the enemy Xenon. fleet. It's like just a group of Xenons. Nothing we can't really handle. I'm gonna keep traveling toward that plasma gun. Local area. Uh, that friendly, the VCX has not arrived. Do you not have your hyperdrive? Oh, <gasps> you don't have your hyperdrive. Whoop, fire, 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 fire. All right, there's our anti-missile defense system firing off. Oh shit, we're taking a lot of hits, holy crap. I thought our turrets could take this, but apparently I was wrong. Fire anti-missile system! Oh, okay, it wasn't a torpedo. Fire missile systems! I'm pounding the crap out of that button right now. I think I need to jump out. Fire the missile system! I got it off again. All damage. Oh. On behalf of our well, that's Senator, why they call it a hammerhead. Thank you for your help with this invader. As when you're wielding a hammer, everything looks like a nail. Credits. I think we won. Turret's got work done in that. We need to take the VCX back. It doesn't have hyperdrive. I gave it to the uh, dock manager in case it needed it. So you just never mind everything Walking I told you and go back to base. Command accepted. That reminds me, we need to send a freighter out to go get some hyperdrives. Now that's using your head. Oh, the bad puns are bad. Uh, all right. Plasma gun. Let's go get this plasma gun and get out of here. I hope we didn't lose any parts. We have, what, 30% armor damage? When in doubt, ram it out. Hmm. Hmm. Nope, nope. Doing pretty good. The fleet is building. I think the station is working on its own now, so it's all kind of coming together. I'm really excited to get into fleet ops against the big bads. Um, I've also updated the game, so. All right, there's the plasma weapons. What are you? Cargo bay now contains. Cargo bay now contains. Light class weapon, simply named plasma gum, surprisingly accurate during military demonstrations with no one expected. Rushed a prototype weapon before a well. while. Ah, these are Imperial weapons. I bet these are the green like TIE fighter weapons that you'd normally see. We need to get out of here and get some repairs done, methinks. Kinda got beat to hell in that fight. So, even though the shields failed pretty quickly, our armor held out. And the turret's Asteroid. got a lot of work done. Nope, next song. Hmm, debating if I should just jump out of here. Well, let's do a scan and see if we can jump someplace with uh, more wreckage. We can do repairs there. Aladdin Hill has four ships now. Um, most of them in the south. There are. There's another Delta 7. There's a Delta 7? Mm. Look at all the loot. I kinda wanna blow this pirate base up. We're not there yet. We don't have that kind of firepower. All right, let's, let's go head back to base and repair. 
Jump device to someplace safe. At 10%, 20, and we'll go repair 30. the ship. I'm going to install the mod and do the clone trooper campaign. So, campaigns are how you start. Um, I don't know if the clone trooper one is still there. I think it is. Uh, read the descriptions. Engine he has a, a readme file of all the different starts and like what you start off with and kind of where you stand because it'll change your faction settings too of where you stand out. Um, and it'll definitely change your experience. There is one other thing. If you play as the Empire, just be aware that the economy in the Empire territories have never been particularly good because it's using the Terran area. And even when you try to play as a Terran in the original game, it just their systems are so big, and everything is so spread out, and there's less stations. It's harder to get something going. Now, Litcube may have actually re... I kind of fixed that up. Oh, one other thing that we did manage to do for you just joining Liner. us. We have this. We have a little tiny miner. We have a, uh, what is this, T-Wing? Yeah, T-Wing. Who's running supplies back and forth. Now, he was a test to find out if it was worth it. What do you got? He's only carrying silicon wafers. Wow. Okay, well, he was a test to find out if having more mining ships was worth it. I have not convinced. I still think that the bigger Miner. miners are better. Because the way that it works is, the more shots that you have, the more chances of getting something good, like a crystal or a rare mineral, could be like shook loose. And these guys, compared, so here's the T-Wing T Miner. Four mining drills, right? On the T-Wing. Here's the Y-8. Right, so he's got 10 of them. Not only does he have 10, He's got a larger bay, so he can just sit there, firing and firing and firing, gathering supplies. So, what are, what are, what stream, what is your thoughts? Why eight miners? Or a swarm of small ones? The T-Wing also, there is an advantage to the T-Wing. It is a small ship, so it can fit inside uh, smaller vessels. We could put them in like a Quasar or something later on. Um, and, and hyperspace them around if we need to. We can get a bit more mobile. I like big miners and I cannot lie. Yeah, Stark is due to dude media. <laughs> the T-Wing is also cheaper. I think the heavy miners are like 7 million a pop. Miner. But even the T-Wing miners... Let's look at the place that sells them. I think it's Rebel Alliance. No, Otos? Yeah, the shipyard. The T-Wing goes for 1 million a pop. has to be outfitted with uh, mining lasers. T-Wing if you want a mobile mining fleet and bigger for the station fleet. Yeah. Like this sector I think would make the, the better better sector for it. And what happened to that YT? Did you actually make it? You did make it. Let's buy you some gear. I'm going to give you a jump drive. Jump drive. I'm going to give you some cool. more energy yeah. cells. Because I want my freighters to have jump drives. Actually, I want my fleet to have jump drives. Energy because that's the... Spot. Oh shit, we've done messed up everything in our lives. And we need to run for, for cover. Um, you don't really need chat, but I'm giving you spot. some anyways. This missile is not compatible with your ship. This missile is not compatible with your ship. You don't say. Engine it's some engine upgrades so it goes maximum speed. And let's get the command trade software we need. Trade command software trading system extension installed. Uh, special command software. I don't think it needs special the station command agent software. software. MK1 installed. I don't think. Wait, what did I just die? Did I just buy a jump drive core? I did buy a jump drive core. Jump drive core. So what we need is a jump drive, not a jump drive core. Jump drive. Installed. I wish I could buy multiple jump drives and put them in cargo and send them over here instead of having to send a ship over and over again. Good morning, Astronix. Alien, thank you for the tier one. I'm sorry if I missed that. Why eights for the win? It's nice to see them useful for mining in some games since they're worthless in mining in SWG. Yeah, I... You know, we could keep them mobile too. We could just give them jump drives. Like, that's, that's easy enough. Probably do a little bit of both at the end of the day. Um, I think we're good. I don't think we need a station management software. Utility 
uh, to a ship's home base, allowing it to manage and sell wares for the station complex. Yeah, I don't think it's necessary. Hmm. I'm gonna feel real dumb if it is, though. I'll just send him back. Navigation. Jump to the sector that I'm in. Come on back over to light. Command accepted. Lightwater should be popping out at the gate behind me any second now. Royal Boron Trading Station. There's the gate back there. We'll wait for it to drop out of hyperspace, and then we'll tell it to go help um, haul stuff in the station. There it is. Welcome. YT2400. Let me give you a home base. Good morning. I just binged all these videos. Love that night shift life. Last stream, there was two repair lasers in Space Weeds Drift. Oh, really? We can't make repair lasers. So collecting those is definitely a good idea. Sorry, Scotland Yard, by the way. I didn't notice the, the, uh, the sub pop. We got our mining fleet working out of a space station that we're calling our home base. We called it the Babylon Station. I love that these cannons are actually animated. They're going in and they're animating all the cannons. How cool is that? I think the balter it's animated too in the bottom. Let's see if I can not get beat to hell by pirates this time. And yes, I died twice. And it wasn't ramming into stations. It was torpedoes. We have gotten used to using the anti-torpedo chaff system. <gasps> oh, I'm not in the freaking ship. I was like, my chaff is at zero. Oh, God. You know what? You might be right. My shields might be weaker than last time. Because we've taken so much damage. Max shield is four 200s. <gasps> we've only got one 200 megajoule shield on board. No wonder we're losing shields so fast. We lost the shields. They must have been damaged in combat. We gotta go buy some shields before we get into combat again. We're running on a quarter of our shield strength right now. To battle! Almost. Not yet. We're not done yet. We're still buffing out the last scratches. Alright, I think we're good. Oh, hell. Who sells 200 megajoule shields? Trading station, maybe? No. Military stations would have them. I believe the New Republic equipment dock might have them. Uh, and they have some in stock, too. Alright, we're heading to the New Republic. We'll pop on over there. Jack, if you lost shields, check weapons, too. Good point. Alright, board cannons are good. Rear turret's good. Ball turret's alright. Top turret. Yeah, we're good. Jumping. Didn't lose those, thankfully. Good call. I didn't even notice. I thought we just got re hit really hard with ion weapons. That's what I assumed. But nope. It was um. It was we had lost. We had lost shield components. That's why. Entering system. The hell is that? That looks like Terran tech. Video enhancement goggles not installed. What is that? Fusion beam cannon. Hey, Tex. Morning. Let's head on over to the equipment dock. Docking granted. Autopilot activated. Yeah, see the Y8s, they start at just about 7 million, and that's not even outfitted. And those Nova couriers, they're pretty damn decent. 22 million. Hi, 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 hi. What's that a freighter doing of ours? Returning home. I'm curious to see if this goes and sells stuff. And this guy says he's selling ore. To where? Where are you taking that ore? You better be taking it over to the Plutarch mining station. I don't want you leaving that sector. Sector is not clear. Not clear. They go jumping out into the next uh, the next area. We're probably gonna lose another freaking transport. It sounds like a weapon Piccolo would use. Special beam cannon! I love it when uh, abridged, he's trying to say the actual Japanese name for it, and he's, it's so long and convoluted that he's, how'd you ever, how'd you ever, oh fuck it, special beam cannon! <laughs> Petrius and the kingdom of Boron bid you a peaceful welcome. 
Oh, bad. Oh, we, get a, we can get the new Republic Law Enforcement License. Do it. And uh, how are we doing on chaff? We have none on the ship. Yeah, we're almost out of We have one. How about we buy like a hundred of those? Those are amazing. Chef bought. Those literally are keeping us alive. And what we're actually here for, the 200 Mega Jewel Shield. Need four of those on board. 200 Mega Jewel Shield installed. Can't believe this thing came with a quantum extension. That's so nice. Ah, oh, video goggles. Video yeah. enhancement goggles installed. Triplex scanner. All right, I think installed. we're good here. Um, I will grab a trade run extension. No, don't need that. Automatically buy and sell wares optimal prices across the known universe. Hmm. You know what? I'll buy one because we're here. I know it's like half a million, but we'll buy one here. And I can give it to one of trade our freighters if we want to set him up as a trader, installed. as a universal trader. Emergency retreat jump drive. Now these, um, no, I feel like I'm fast enough at retreating. My own mines. What are we doing on energy cells? Let's top that back up to 1500. This is for fuel right here for jumps. Energy cells bought. Buy all the extensions for your main ship. Yeah, pretty much. Cargo life system if we want to move some Cargo people around. Cargo life support system installed. Yeah, these are also some really, really expensive stuff. All right, we're good here. Is there anything neat in this station? Station-wise? What's our next move? Do we expand the mining fleet? Where is your, gro your ghost? So the ghost is currently docked up at our main base. Uh, I haven't figured out exactly what I want to do with it yet. I think I want to send it down to a equipment dock and pick up a new jump drive. Like maybe the one we're at, actually. It's not too far away. Because I gave the uh, the jump drive to one of our transports that are carrying some of our valuable bits. Bits and pieces. Uh, what is the nearest jump drive selling location? Probably Lucky Planets. In the shipyard. No, equipment dock. You got jump drives. You got jump drives. A lot of hostiles there, though. I may have to escort it. Yeah, let's do it. We'll escort it. So, VCX. Navigation. Fly to sector. Command accepted. Oh, shit. Navigation. Actually, fly to station. Let's get you docked. Fly safe to station. Oh, there's a button for it. That makes sense. Wolfman. 472, thank you for the Twitch Prime for three months. Hey, Shaq, keep up the great work. I can't wait for the Rebel Campaign of Awakening the Rebellion. Yeah, I'm excited for it, too. Honestly, I'm really excited for it. To the point where I may I may curve the criminal one. Because that's going to be, even with me trying to rush through and try to, like, beat it fast, uh, that may even make the campaign last longer because it's not an easy AI to beat. I think I might just start a Rebel one. Because that's the one I really want to play. I asked them, too. I asked the devs, hey, when are you going to do a drop? Uh, and they were like, oh, it's going to be a while. Go ahead and start the criminal campaign. And then, like, two weeks later, the rebel, the, the actual release of the mod came out. It's like, oh. I mean, I'm, I'm really excited that it's out. But, oh, I wish I wouldn't have started a criminal one if I knew that was going to happen. Uh, all Walking right. You head on granted. over. Command I will jump over to Sector and escort you in because we got a lot of hostiles in the area and I'd rather not jump lose the VCX. It was lies! 30. 30. All lies. 40. 50%. 60. <laughs> Summer, they played you for a fool. 80. It was all part 90. of their plan. Jumping. Two weeks is a while. Yeah, but think about like me and, a, and an Empire of War campaign. Two weeks is nothing. Especially like a proper one with a new harder AI. Hell, we did Republic at War. 69 episodes of Republic at War in that one season. Entering system, light Outside water. of the Space Engineers Mod All the Things series, that has to be the longest series. And in my heart, the Space Engineers Mod All the Things series never really ended. We just kind of shifted it to different versions. Uh, there's the VCX. We'll take a best corp position around the BCX. Uh, where's our our 41s? Do you are you still packing ships docked to you? Or are you empty? You're empty. Yeah, I think that's how I'm gonna keep the BCX from now on. Not gonna have the ships docked to it. I'm gonna use this as like a uh, a go getter. 
so when we salvage ships, uh, I'm gonna make it a tug, basically. It'll go out to hostile territory, grab ships that I want salvaged, the fighters and stuff, and bring them back to us. Right now, I'm asking our, uh, our escorting our old transport, the VCX, to get himself a jump drive. I like watching your live stream versions better than your VODs, Wolfman says. Hello! That's the biggest ship we've seen in this sector. Are you guys on patrol? You're also upside down, just saying. Goddamn Providence comes out of nowhere. Actually threw me off my course. I haven't seen them in this sector before. That's weird. You never know what the AI's gonna do. Yesterday I saw a freaking pirate, um, uh, counselor class. I think it was a counselor class. Combat Corvette. Here. In the station with my station with no defenses. I had to rally up like everything and go kill no it. Aim. That was last night. Autopilot so that wasn't part off. of the stream or anything. That was me trying to figure stuff out and then realizing that my station was about to get got. Why are the separatists moving into this sector so heavily? This is a rebel sector and it was empty when I arrived. This has nothing to do with you. I turned the escort off because autopilot was being goofy. <laughs> Best suggested title from last Sunday. The Gonk, the Bad, and the Uglies. I like it. We might Entry use that for this system, Sunday. Of infinity. You gonna be around this Sunday? Autopilot activate. Autopilot off. Is another Providence? Maybe the same one. No, he wouldn't have come through the gate that fast. He's gonna motivate me to get the hell away from the gate, though. VCX, you're leaving your escort behind. The one time I'm escorting him is the one time this sector is empty. What do you require? I am transmitting the information. Nope. That is a shit deal. Take her away. Funny thing about X4, there's a mod uh, where it basically turns the Xenon into the Borg and pretty much everyone talks about how they take over the entire galaxy. Yeah, the, welcome to Lit Cube. That's what this mod does. This mod makes two factions that can actually take over the galaxy and, and make the player lose. There's a a company, uh, the Fanon, I think Fanon Corporation is how you say it? And they're here to literally beat me at my own game. They're here to build stations, destroy my stations. They're here to basically outplay me on the economy the other faction they can do everything i can do uh the other faction is the xenon omicron threat and they're like we see these news things coming in and saying hey all mercenaries report here if you talk about this we're going to arrest you and throw you in jail because we keep lo they keep losing battles against it and it keeps taking over more territory uh, and we haven't even seen that territory yet our scouts have not found it That'll be fun to do combat operations against. And then, of course, we've got the other factions, like the Empire. Um, you know, the other factions that we may want to go fight. The Terrans, aka Empire. Uh, I think you're set, and I don't think you need me as an escort anymore. I feel like you've got this. I'm just going to stop following you, because you should be docking right now at the station, I think. Right? You docking? Yeah, you're docking. And... Oh, no, 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 no. Alright, VCX. Let's get you that jump drive. You need it. Mm -hmm. What happened to my R41? It's got damage. Trade. No. No. Trade. There we go. Most important thing, the jump, jump drive. drive. How are you doing on fuel? Stop. You don't have any. Oh, because I drained it all. Hmm. Energy I'm gonna give you that, bought. and I'm gonna give you a ton of chaff. chaff so your cargo's basically full, but you'll burn most of that, because most of it's just shenanigans and whatnot. Uh, all right. Let's do a scan of the sectors that we know. We're looking at ships that have bailed in combat recently where we have sensors. Uh, next page. No ships there, huh? All right, let's... 
Let's check our mining ships. Let's see how the, the business, let's see how the business is doing. How are you doing, Babylon Station? Show me your trade reports. Negative 13 million gross profit. Why? Ah, because I had ships that are considered owned by you buy things. What? What? What do you mean fif minus 15 million for chaff? I don't believe you. That's lies. Let's look at the individual ships. So this is one of our freighters. This is the actual manager. Gross profit, 2 million. 2.3 million is what this trader has made for us. Awesome. And then what about our new one? Waiting for a full load. I don't think you've done anything yet. Yeah, no, I've just had you buy stuff. So we're going to go ahead and reset you. Uh, we're going to reset the station too, because that's just not... They are making us money. Because the one that we need to keep an eye on is the dock manager. Because it's also the only freighter that they've had running stuff out. So whatever those miners are bringing in, the dock manager is taking out. So... Two million profit so far since we've set it up. And it's only sold the blue crystals. Ah, all right. Chaff is expensive. I don't think it spent 16 million on chaff. It can't. Holy fuck, it spent 16 million on chaff. No, I don't, no, no. I have 20,000 credits in the bank. What the fuck happened to my money? Did they literally buy millions? 500, what? Hang on a second, what's in your freight? No, space station. What's in your freight? Well, we're never gonna have to buy chaff again, guys. Yeah, that's why. Ah, uh, I bought it on the VCX. Okay, I must have pushed the button too far over. Oi, hoi, hoi, hoi. It wasn't the station buying stupid shit. It was me. Awesome. <sighs> Oh, well, panic. Pure freaking panic. Hey, take your freaking chaff back, because apparently it's really expensive. We don't need that much. This ship does have an auto-launching chaff system, though, so it's actually really helpful that it has some. Thank you for giving me my money back. <laughs> On the plus side, we have spares. Not anymore. The back up to 16 million. Oh, my God. I think it's... Yeah, it might be getting around that time to... Drop 16 million on, on mining ships. That's exactly what we're going to do. PCX, navigation, jump to sector. I want you to head over to the rebel, rebel base. Command I'll meet you over there. I'll meet you over there. We're going to go pick up because we're going to pick up two mining ships. Uh, we're going to attach them to you and then we're going to jump them over to our mining sector. Check. Thinking too small, maximize your mining plans. Yeah, I'm with you. Let's go ham on mines. Jump device charging. All right, he should be jumping before we do. Twenty. Good. Great. Thirty. Forty. Fifty percent. Sixty. This song is called "Be 70, Free with Me." 18, 19, Epidemic sound. Jumping. Yeah. <laughs> Great. All the things we've accomplished, and as people come into chat, chat's gonna be like, when people ask, so what's Shaq done so far? Well, he spent 15 million credits on just chaff. Entering <laughs> system. Oh, f me. Oh, good grief. That's a thing. That's a thing. Hey, mining ships. I'm just gonna buy, I'm gonna buy, oh man, we can't even get, we can't even get the medium ones. These are gonna be empty. Give me two of these. T-wing miners. Ship ordered at shipyard. Yeah, we're doing two at once. Uh, that's it. That's all right. Let's give you, dun, 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 dun. Give you engine tuning. Engine tuning. Cargo tuning. Installed. Cargo bay extension. Uh, I guess Install rudder's rudder fine. It's cheap enough. Give me the boost. Extension. Give them the boost. Give them the mineral scanner. They are mining ships. Mineral scanner. Don't know if they actually need Installed. that. Ore collector. They already have it built in. 
I don't think they need special command stuff. Yeah, there you have it. What else do they need? They need mining lasers, which I don't know if they have. Mobile mining drill systems. I think we need eight. So it's four and four. Mobile drilling system installed. And I think that's it. I'm not gonna give them jump drives because they're they're fighters. We can put them on a on a carrier once we can afford something that can carry them. What else do we need? War rock. <laughs> I think you need a little bit of chaff, Shack. No, no, we don't. We don't need any dick damn trap. Night tax. See you this weekend. Oh man, has cracked me up. All right, I think we're good. I don't. Right, let me double check that we can actually use these guys to mine now. Uh, Otash Shipyard, you can do the mine command. You can indeed. Sweet. You too. I need you both to go dock at the VCX. Granted. Command accepted. And we're going to ferry them Stalking granted. back to Command the accepted. main base. So there they are. So directly ahead of us. Now we can zoom in. There's the shipyards. There's our two miners. Join us, and together we shall mine the galaxy. Wow, you're so slow. Miner. I mean, you're not like Y8 slow, but geez, mining ships are slow. I wonder if they made them slow on purpose. Uh, where's the transport? Dead ahead. Why are you... What are you doing with your engines right now? I have questions. No aim. There they go. That flash was them being transported onto the docking rings because that ship has a teleporter. All right. Look at you and your two mining ships attached to the sides. Looking good. Looking real good. <laughs> Damn it, uh, Jump to sector and fly to station. Go back to light water and go back to our base of operations. Parking granted. Command accepted. Piss off, ghost. Get these miners working. And we should be broke. Where are we sitting? We could afford one more miner. I think we're going to get a Y8. No aim. Maybe. Eh, maybe not. All right, so T-Wing Miner, let's set you home base as, we're just setting them up now, Babylon Station. Special command, go mine stuff command in accepted. Babylon Station. There we go, another T-Wing set. Uh, T-Wing home base is gonna be Babylon Station. Go and mine. Command accepted. All right, there we go. The new miners have been deployed. 